Going back to school this month has been a challenge for some children who've had, over the last six months, limited contact with others during lockdown. It's hard enough if you understand the reasons why COVID has turned life upside down. But imagine how hard it is for the youngest school pupils to get their head around this. And that's why the head teacher at Tilstock C of E Primary, which is part of the Marches Academy Trust, has redesigned the concept of learning at her school to help pupils adjust. And that head teacher is Rowena Kaminsky. Rowena, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, you cheerful devil, you. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, so how has it been um, being back, first of all? Oh, it's been fan absolutely fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. We've got a really good team of staff here, very dedicated and enthusiastic, and it's been brilliant to have the whole school back together again. How long have you been teaching, Rowena? Oh, a long, long time. <laughs> you don't sound old enough, she says quickly. Um, now, first of all, explain what you've changed in terms of the classrooms and the concept of learning at the school. What are you doing differently? Right, so I have been doing a lot of research into early years education and um, looked at the way that we teach children, particularly in the early years, so those three and four year olds that are coming into school with us. So I've looked at the way that not only our environment and our classroom looks, but the way that we interact with parents, with children, and how we plan and teach sessions. And what's the I, thinking behind this? Where did you get the idea from? Well, um, I've, I've done a lot of reading over the summer and, and um, when, when we, you know, when we had the pandemic um, that began here and became very real in our community and in our school, it meant that children and families through no fault of their own were withdrawn away from schools and communities and almost kind of cocooned in their own four walls. And when something like this happens, you need to go back and look at how, you know, the great pioneers of education have dealt with this in the past. And there's a very interesting story um, about a particular approach called Reggio Emilia. And this was deeply centered around their community. And it came about um, just after the Second World War by a psychologist called Loris M Malaguzzi. And um, if you can imagine the aftermath of World War II and the people in Italy had to start rebuilding their lives. There was a lot of um, poverty, a lot of destruction, and they had a strong desire for change and a desire to kind of form a new education. And it kind of sort of rang true with me, you know, looking at what we've been through with this pandemic and with our children and our families. And, and so this was developed, what was it, in Italy post-World War II when the community was yes. in a similar unstable state? Yes, yes. And so it, it looked at, you know, not just, um, you know, uh, the pupils in the school, but looking at the whole community. And I think with something like this that's happened, it's about looking after our families and being, as a school, the centre of, of what's going on and being the, being the lead in a way um, to nurture everybody, so all parents, all families, siblings and the community. Now you've got all the littlies, so how difficult has <laughs> it been for some of the younger pupils to understand what's been going on? Well, it's been very difficult and the, and the thing that's happened is that, you know, perhaps since March, these children have been um, at home with their families, which is a, which is a very nice time and, and um, to have. But in one way, it can bring about that um, that difficulty of attachment. So, you know, when your child first starts school when they're four, they may have had lots of play dates or those transition days into school. But it's been very unusual this time because they've um, been at home with families in kind of four walls and restricted from doing all the kinds of things that we enjoy doing. So there was a bit of anxiety, not just from the children, but from parents with starting school. And it was up to us, I felt, and up to me to tap into a way or look into a new approach of um, making sure that they were as um, ready and, as, and could be transitioned uh, as, as the best way that we could. And, so, sorry, carry on. Yes, yeah, sorry, with this Reggio approach, it's very much child led. And so that's the most important thing for us. The children are at the heart of everything that we do. So it's, it's making sure that their needs are met first. 
Uh, and I understand that you've had uh, help of uh, a grant from the government for this as well. So that must have been uh, really, really good. Yeah, yeah, we've got a really supportive trust. Um, and the Marches Academy Trust um, that, I, that, that I work with uh, received funding from the Department for Education. Uh, and that was in order to improve facilities across the trust due to increased pupil numbers. And so I had to put a bid together using the research that I'd undertaken um, to improve our early years classroom and provide that calm, nurturing environment and approach for our pupils to reintegrate them back into school, which was you know, a huge priority for us at the moment. Rowena, it sounds like you've been doing an amazing job. Thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, Rowena Kaminsky, uh, head teacher at uh, the uh, Tilstock Primary School. I mean, just uh, that just sounds like amazing, doesn't it? Tilstock CAV Primary, part of the Marches Academy. On the BBC Sounds app, on your smart speaker, play BBC Radio Shropshire and on your radio.